Alright, I gave myself 157 minutes in order to challenge myself into making a tool that will help me with my arithmetic. How high can you score? Alright, so I participated in a tool jam, a jam where you have to make a tool. The deadline was in like 10 days, but that felt like way too long, so I wanted to do something shorter. So I decided to limit myself to 157 minutes. I chose the number arbitrarily and 157 felt random enough to me. I decided I wanted to make an educational tool so that I can practice my arithmetic. At 2pm I started so I would have until 4.37pm to finish. First things first, I decided to import my font. I added in two random numbers and a button. The numbers would change randomly when I pressed the button. I made the numbers line up the same way that they do on a math problem worksheet, where the ones place lines up and the ten places line up, etc. Next, I made my own input box for text input. Since this is a math game, I only have the text box contain numbers. Pressing a key from 0 to 9 puts it into the box, and it behaves like a typical text box. The left and right arrow key move the cursor. I also made the backspace and delete key work in the expected way. And I also made enter clear the whole input. I was considering adding in an undo feature with control Z, but that didn't seem like it'd be worth the time. Next, I made it so that the questions were addition. If the text input matches the sum of the two numbers on the screen, the score would increase by one. You could see the score counter on the right. I also made it trim the leading zeros before checking the answer, but this is probably pointless since no one would answer with the leading zeros anyway. Next, I made a menu screen and decided that there were going to be five different modes, but I didn't put them in at this point. I made each option have a corresponding button to the left of them, so only one of them could be selected. When the game starts, there is a timer on the right and a quit button. If the timer hits zero, or if the quit button is pressed, it goes to the score screen. The score screen shows the score for the current game, the highest score ever, and the recent scores. Of course, each of the scores is separated for each mode, since they are all going to be a different amount of difficulty. The recent scores is important because it really shows the player how much they have been increasing in skill recently. Next, I actually implemented the different game modes. It's pretty simple since I just change the sign and change the way that the numbers are generated. The addition and subtraction are pretty simple. I just generate two random numbers from 1 to 999. For subtraction, I made it special since I always made sure that the answer is positive, so the top number is always going to be bigger than the bottom number. Other than that, the sign just changes logically. The third mode I added was small multiplication. This is a mode where one number is between 11 and 99, and the second number is between 2 and 9. This is an important small step because there's only going to be at most one number that has to be carried over, so I decided that this should get its own mode. Next, I did a bigger multiplication which is two numbers between 11 and 99. This is significantly harder than the small multiplication because it requires two small multiplications and then you have to add them together, which is rather difficult because there's a lot of things you have to keep track of. This is what I would consider the main mode. It's definitely the most challenging mode of all of them, for sure. Next, I added in a table multiplication mode. This one is a bit more complicated. It generates a single digit number and a five digit number. At first, this seems pretty difficult since it's such a big number and you have to multiply a lot. But when you actually do it, you realize how easy it is. The five digit number is actually limited to having only three non-zero digits in the first, third, and fifth position. The zeros are really important because it makes it so that there are going to be no carries and it's simply just multiplying a single digit by a single digit three different times. I originally was going to have a tiny multiplication mode, which was just single digit by single digit, but I think this combination is a better alternative. Next, 
I added in sounds to the game. There's a positive noise when you get a correct answer and a negative noise when the enter is pressed and the answer is wrong. I also added in a sound when the time was up. So if you want to hear them, you should play the game. And that's when I ran out of time for my self-imposed 157 minute challenge. I have pretty much everything that I wanted to add in the game. Maybe I should have added in some background music, but oh well. Overall, I like what I made. It's a time-based attack game that can be used as a tool to make you faster at arithmetic. I'm not going to lie, the skill isn't very useful, but it's an interesting mental challenge. And I think the different modes make a decent difficulty setting to the game. Table multiplication should literally just be a typing test. Every single answer should be basically instant. The small multiplication is a step above that, where there's only going to be, at most, a single carry. And then there's also the addition mode, which is similar to the small multiplication mode, where you also might have to carry one, but you might have to do that twice. And then when you get good at small multiplication and addition, you, you combine those two to get into the big multiplication, where you need the skills from both. And then I also added in the subtraction mode, because it just seemed like it should be there because they have the addition. Right now, I'd say the game is in a decent position. It's everything I wanted. It provides a nice, challenging big multiplication mode, and the stepping stones in order to do that big multiplication mode with the addition and the small multiplication mode. How high of a score can you get on the big multiplication mode? You can play the game at the link found in the description below. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.